Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a student at Cornell University who's interested in field biology, especially birds. And today, we're going to be talking about the incredible world of feeding adaptations in birds. So when it comes to food, some birds, kind of like humans, are generalists. Birds like jays or gulls will eat pretty much whatever they can find. However, most birds specialize in certain types of food which means that how they look and how they behave is determined in large part by what they eat. So this means that even though different species of birds can look very different, if they eat the same thing, they'll share a lot of very similar characteristics. The first group of birds we're going to be talking about are the ones that you're probably most familiar with. These are the seed specialists, which are basically your typical backyard feeder birds. Seed eaters have sturdy, triangular-shaped bills. This shape allows birds that eat seeds to have an incredible amount of power, which they need to crack through the protective outer covering of seeds. Fruits and berries are sweet snacks enjoyed by a variety of bird species. However, the real specialists are the nectar eaters. That's right, I'm talking about hummingbirds. Unlike seed eaters, hummingbirds have these long, fine bills. They're not very strong, but they're perfect for allowing these birds to reach deep inside of flowers where the nectar is hidden. Hummingbird beaks can be short or long, straight or very curved. Each beak is kind of like a puzzle piece, specifically shaped to fit into a specific type of flower. Our next group of birds has a set of even more incredible adaptations that helps them live life in or on the water where fish is what's on the dinner menu. There are many different ways to catch a fish, but most birds rely on a beak shape that's long, sturdy, and pointed, sort of like a spear, which allows them to catch and hold on to slippery fish underwater. When it comes to actually eating the fish, once you have it in your bill, the bird has to kind of toss it up, rearrange it to where it's going the right way to get down their throat, and then try and chug it down without it slipping out and getting back into the water. Other birds that eat fish actually dive below the water to find their food. Herons and egrets will remain perfectly still until just the right moment to strike. Others take a more active approach. You may have seen some birds walking around shaking their legs like this under the water. What they're doing is trying to scare up any small fish or bugs or shrimp that are hiding down in the mud under the water. Black herons jump around like ballet dancers. They hold their wings out in front of them, creating a little patch of shade. And then when a fish swims in, thinking it's a safe place to hide, the heron strikes and gets its meal. Many species of ducks and geese have broad, flat bills that are perfect for straining aquatic plants out of the water. Our next group of birds are powerful hunters on land and in the air, where they feed on small mammals and even other birds. Raptors are meat eaters and typically include hawks, eagles, falcons, owls, and vultures. Raptors are distinguished by the fact that they kill their prey with their feet. Raptor feet are incredibly strong and equipped with sharp talons, which are hooked claws that they use to grab and hold on to their prey. Raptor beaks are very hooked and sharp for tearing through meat. They're also strong enough to crack through bone. Okay, so now we've talked about seeds and flowers, fish and other animals but I've saved the biggest and most important food group for last. Any guesses? The answer is insects. Insects are an important food source for a large number of birds. They're high in protein and you can find them pretty much anywhere. So even birds, like the seed eaters we talked about that specialize on other types of food, will still eat insects if they have the chance. There are also a few groups of birds that are specially adapted to live off insects. Warblers have small, short bills that they use to pick insects off of branches or leaves, which is called gleaning. A lot of times you can see these birds hopping around in the bushes or the tops of trees looking for insects hiding beneath branches. Many shorebirds, like sandpipers, have long, thin, probing bills that they use to dig into the mud where bugs might be hiding. Another group of birds catches insects in midair. Swifts, swallows, and flycatchers have 
relatively short, stubby, unimpressive bills, but their mouths are really large, sort of like a bug net. It gives them extra surface area to gulp down insects in the air. Some birds dig for insects in the sides of trees. These birds typically have beaks that are short, blunt, and chisel-like, very sturdy so that they can dig into the sides of trees or lift up pieces of bark looking for insects. Now that you've learned about some of the key feeding adaptations in birds, head outside and find some birds. Take a look at their beak, their feet, their feathers, and how they act, and see if you can figure out what it is they eat.